Hey everyone, Nick Russo here. In this video, I'll explain my comprehensive study plan to help you pass Cisco's new Advanced Enterprise Routing and Services or NRC exam. This is my fifth study plan following this format, so I'll move through it quickly. The plan also covers about half of the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Blueprint. I've included links to both exams here if you want to learn more about how they operate. The plan is 10 weeks long and requires about 10 to 12 hours of studying each week. The only non-free resource is Pluralsight, which costs a total of $90 for a three-month period. The plan also relies heavily on gns3vault.com for free labs from my friend Rene Molinar. This site's been around for almost a decade, so some of you are probably familiar with how it works. The plan is supplemented by Cisco Live, YouTube, and technical white papers, which are free. The content in the plan that is authored by me personally is highlighted in green, which makes up about a third of the total. Regarding the copyright, you're free to view and edit this spreadsheet for personal use. I only ask that you don't distribute it. Just direct people to my site instead so that they can download the newest copy. At the bottom, there's a tab called 10 Week, which has the actual study plan. Let's click on that. My NRC-focused Pluralsight Learning Path has seven total courses, which are sliced up across this plan. The first week begins with EIGRP, covering core topics like summarization, variance, and stubs. In general, the video content comes first, followed by several relevant labs on gns3vault.com. You'll see this pattern repeated throughout the entire plan. Then, we discuss BGP, focusing on the fundamentals of forming neighbors and working with common policy attributes like local preference. The labs almost always relate directly to the Pluralsight content. Sometimes I'll add in some extra labs to augment what's in the Pluralsight course, giving you a, a bit of extra experience. Also notice columns E and F, which map each study item to the blueprint topics for both NRC and CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure exams. You can use these columns to track your progress if you like. Week 2 covers DMVPN and IP-based tunneling in general, along with VRF Lite. Once those overlays are built, my course discusses some advanced eIGRP features which are reinforced by the following labs. Each one of my courses covers a handful of IP services. The first course covers access lists, AAA, radius, control plane policing, and more. Week 2 ends with some labs on those topics. In week 3, you'll finish up the IP services from the previous week by focusing on DHCP features. The final module of each advanced routing course covers IPv6. The content basically mirrors the IPv4 topics earlier in the course. In this case, that includes a heavy focus on IPv6, EIGRP, and BGP, followed by some practice labs. Week 4 starts a new course, focusing on large enterprise and small service provider networks since both use a similar set of technologies. This course focuses on OSPF core topics like network types, area border router functionality, and the DR election. Next, we cover redistribution and various ways of preventing routing loops in suboptimal routing. The first course focused on traditional enterprise internet access, but this course focuses on upstream transit connectivity. This introduces some new BGP policy attributes along with route aggregation. In week 5, you'll learn about MPLS Layer 3 VPNs and the underlying transport technologies needed to make it work. This includes LDP in the core and BGP as a PE to CE routing protocol. Next comes IPSLA, both for measuring performance and as a routing mechanism via tracked objects. The week ends with more enterprise services like SNMP, TechX, and NetFlow, along with the standard IPv6 variants of all topics covered earlier in the course. I've also included several of my technical white papers here, which will help you understand how these advanced routing features can be employed in real-life scenarios. Week 6 marks the beginning of the third course, again with a heavy OSPF focus. This course is based on a leaf-spined data center fabric and introduces IPsec encryption, OSPF virtual links, and the various OSPF special area types. Area types and how they interact with redistribution is a big topic, so I've included many labs for this week's study plan. 
Week 7 begins with an OSPF troubleshooting lab, since by this point, we've covered most of the key OSPF topics on both blueprints. We shift focus to IBGP route reflection and how that helps networks scale, along with file transfer related services. This also includes various logging and security features, such as syslog and time-based ACLs. The week ends with the course's IPv6 module and another technical white paper which focuses on BGP traffic engineering using IBGP for leaf-spine networks. IPv6 is the sole focus for week 8. First, you'll watch my entire course on securely transitioning enterprises to IPv6, then try some labs to reinforce what you learned. To see how these technologies are applied in real life, I've included two technical white papers. One covers a high-scale WAN design using 6RD and GetVPN. The other covers DHCP v6 prefix delegation combined with DMVPN over wireless networks for secure mobile access. Week 9 addresses various topics, beginning with Cisco DNA Center Assurance. I recorded a short 30-minute course just to focus on that topic, and I've linked a useful Cisco dCloud lab if you want to poke around on your own. Next, you'll spend a few hours on QoS fundamentals like classification, marking, queuing, and traffic conditioning. Last, I suggest you watch two Cisco Live sessions on OSPF, both of which were authored by me. One focuses on OSPF design and deployment techniques, including various optimizations for the protocol. The other focuses on advanced graph-based troubleshooting by exploring the link state database. To augment the troubleshooting session, I recorded a short YouTube video that repeats my graph tracing method using OSPF v3 for IPv6 routing. Week 10 is review. Just watch the four advanced routing courses back to back for a second time. You'll be surprised how many important details you missed on the first pass, and this will prepare you for the NRC exam should you decide to take it. All the training is done at this point. As a bonus for watching my courses, you get a free 20 ticket troubleshooting lab. Click this link to learn more about how to obtain the lab, which I'll describe in a future video. I've included solutions as well, so if you can't solve a ticket, you can check the solution to continue with the lab. I made it quite difficult on purpose, and if you can completely solve even half the tickets, you're doing well. I have two final points before we wrap up. First, there are many other resources that you can use to study for these exams. There are textbooks from Cisco Press, there are other Cisco Live courses, and there are other courses by other trainers. I chose the resources that I did because this is the lowest cost, most comprehensive plan I could come up with. If you want to add in some other resources to your studies, you absolutely can. Second, this plan will be updated a lot. As I discover new labs or new white papers or new Cisco Live sessions that I think are particularly helpful, I may add them in. Be sure to check back every few weeks for updates if you're in the middle of studying to make sure that you have the latest and greatest. You can find a link to this spreadsheet in the video description, so be sure to download this to get started. Thanks everyone and have a great day.